Hi everybody, it is Friday, January 30th, 2015. Thanks for stopping by. I just had to share you share with you this conversation that I had with a Sam Harris supporter. And I'd like to point out, you know, I, I've talked to a lot of people um, on the internet who are just the most despicable, reprehensible people alive. Um, and I've talked to people that were really honest about what they thought, and people that are really dishonest, double talkers, liars. And occasionally you'll find somebody that's really, really horrible, but they're honest about it. And that seems a little bit better to me than these people that are just, maybe they're really horrible, maybe they're not so horrible, but just kind of bad. They might be the dregs of humanity, or they might be just kind of a immoral person, not really horrible, but just kind of bad. But either way, when they're totally dishonest and trying to play games with words in order to trick you and, and get across a point that they already know is wrong, that um, bothers me more, that, that gets on my nerves. I, uh, I feel uh, more antipathy toward those people. And the Sam Harris supporters they really fit that definition. Some of them are just bad people. Some of them are really horrible people. But all of them are totally dishonest. And I don't know if they're drawn to him because of that or if they just see his intellectually dishonest tricks and pick them up subconsciously and use them without really even knowing they're using them. I, mean, I don't know how that happens, but all of the Sam Harris supporters, they all seem the same. They all try to play tricks with words and use just base sophistry in order to win an argument with the wrong position, to convince other people of things that they have to know themselves are false. Otherwise, they wouldn't have to use tricks to get their point across, right? So, I'm talking to this guy yesterday, and he says, you know, he came there saying that I'm a retard, and he's, you know, uh, disgusted by retards like me talking about Sam Harris as if he's actually said all these things that he's actually said. And so I said, okay, I'm going to make an example out of you. If I'm a retard, I'm going to kick your ass. And so I proceeded to do that. And I proved my point about Sam Harris, which is indisputable. And so I quoted Sam Harris saying that, you know, one of the things I quoted was that Islam has all the makings of a thoroughgoing cult of death. And so if you speak English, you know what that means. It means he's calling Islam a cult of death, a death cult, which he has actually said several times. I heard him say Islam is a death cult and then smile and, and chuckle himself. I saw him do that on television. But in his book, he said, he phrased it a little bit different. He said, Islam has all the makings of a thoroughgoing cult of death. And he, he went on at length to talk about how Muslims just want to die to go to heaven. And that's why we have to drop nuclear bombs on them if they ever get nuclear technology. And he's saying, oh, this is a horrible crime of self-defense that we must 
must do. Otherwise, we'll all, we'll all be annihilated. And the Sam Harris bots will come out and say, oh, he's calling it a horrible crime and, and all this. And he's not advocating. He's just giving choices. It's like, yeah, either you die or you do it. That's your choice that he's giving you. <laughs> and it's a horrible crime of self-defense that you have to do. But to them, that's just, oh, no, no, no. Let's play games with the words and make it mean something else. So this guy comes on, and I, you know, quoted Sam Harris saying that Islam has all the makings of a cult of death. And he said, oh, yeah, so all the makings of equals is. You are a full retard. And I said, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what it means. You are a retard indeed. You have the makings, or actually what I said was, yeah, that's what it means. That's what he's saying. You have all the makings of a thoroughgoing retard. And so he came back and wrote out like a whole bunch of laughter and tried to mock me for calling him a retard after he called me a retard. As it, you know, that's not clever enough. And so my response was just, first of all, look, that's just the truth. You called me a retard and you're a retard. What do you want me to say? That's the truth. <laughs> you're a retard. That is the truth. Maybe it's not clever, but that's just the truth of it. And not only that, but you're saying that I called you a retard, but that's not what I said. I didn't say you are a retard. I said you have all the makings of a thoroughgoing retard. Suddenly, you can understand what I'm saying now. Suddenly, you understand that when I say you have all the makings of a retard, I'm actually saying you are a retard. Ten seconds ago, you didn't get it. You didn't get it while you were even making a statement. You're still mocking me for saying that Sam Harris is calling uh, Muslims a death cult for saying that Islam has all the makings of it. And then when I say you have all the makings of a retard, now you're saying that I'm calling you a retard. I don't know if I'm explaining this you know, the best way or not, but if you understand what I'm saying, you understand how totally hilarious that is. How they're playing these games with words, and yet, you know, he's playing this game with where he's trying to pretend these words don't mean the same thing, and yet, he's telling me they do mean the same thing at the exact same time. Inadvertently agreeing with me while mocking me because of the position that now he's taking as he's mocking me. <laughs> I mean, that was the most perfect, incredible, hilarious thing that I've seen a Sam Harris bot do ever. And I just had to share that with you. Like, when these people make these arguments and they quibble over these words, Try using the words on them and see what they do. And they'll suddenly get what the words mean where they didn't before. And suddenly they understand, you know, that when you're insulting someone in this way, it really is an insult and not just a thought experiment. And it's hilarious to watch them do that. And you know, fuck all these people that want to play games with words and deny what they obviously mean just to win an argument or just to pretend that their little hero is innocent of things that they know he's not innocent of. If you can't defend somebody honestly, don't defend them by playing games with words and using base 
sophistry and tricks because it's not going to work. We see right through it. Thanks for watching.